Hi, welcome to series of getting started video tutorials for RoboAnalyzer software. RoboAnalyzer is a 3D model based software that can be used to teach and learn robotic concepts. You can download it for free at www.roboanalyzer.com. In this video tutorial, I will be discussing about inverse dynamics. Inverse dynamics is basically the task of finding joint torque. In simple words, uh, if the kinematic parameters and inertial parameters of a manipulator along with its trajectory are given, it is required to find the joint torque. When I say kinematic parameters, I mean the joint value, joint velocity and its acceleration. And inertial parameters are the length, mass, CG position, inertia, etc. Robo-analyzer software employs redesign algorithm to solve the dynamic equations of joint torque. Well, this is the robo analyzer software. To begin with, I'm going to consider a simple 2D of freedom robotic comp. You can change the DH parameters as per the requirements. And here are the inertial parameters. You can change the value of the position of CG or the mass properties that is the inertia along the different directions. You can, uh, you can also change the acceleration of gravity uh, along any axis required. As I mentioned earlier, the joint torque depends upon uh, inertial parameters, kinematic parameters and also the motion trajectory. By trajectory, I mean the time history of position, velocity and acceleration of either actuating joints or the end effector of the robot. You can change the motion trajectory over here. There are already four inbuilt trajectories in the robo analyzer software and the default one is cyclodal. You can see the difference. For cyclodal, the, the velocity is a sinusoidal curve. You can see the uh, acceleration, it slowly accelerates at the beginning and decelerates slowly at the end. And for cubic, it follows a 3 degree of, uh, it's a 3 degree curve, cubic one, and the joint acceleration is almost a straight line. Similarly, the other two trajectories are governed by different set of equations. To solve the dynamic equations for joint torque, first it is required to complete the analysis of forward kinematics, then go for inverse dynamics. You can plot the graph for torque, joint torque on the graph and compare it with the joint acceleration and joint velocity. You can also compare it with the other. Uh, so this is the joint torque of the first two joints. Okay, uh, now I'm going for a more comprehensive example. Uh, six degree of freedom robotic arm. This is six degree of freedom robot uh, called KUKA or KR5. I can change the as usual you can change the DH parameters and the position of the CG of different links as per your requirements uh, completing the forward kinematic analysis and then going for inverse dynamics as there are six joints here I can plot all the joint torque on a single graph and compare them uh, that's it. Thank you for watching the video.